Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall see a new feature introduced in the November 2022 update, which is how to create a field parameter slicer to interact dynamically with visuals. The slicer that you see here in this screenshot is the field parameter slicer. This slicer would filter the bar chart and the line chart shown below based on the selection made. In this picture, you can see the region selected and this bar chart shows sales by region, whereas this line chart shows sales and profit by region. If we select category, subcategory, year or month, these charts would change dynamically and depict the metrics based on the selection. This feature is available in the November 2022 version of Power BI Desktop, which can be downloaded from the website powerbi.microsoft.com. Let's head straight to Power BI Desktop and do a demo. In this demo, we are going to use a sample data set available in Power BI, which can be imported by clicking on this button, Try a Sample Data Set. Here we see an option, Load Sample Data. Let's click on this. And here we can see two sheets. Let's click on the financials. You can see a preview of the data and let's click on load. We can see the financial table here. Let's expand this and the various fields are available here. Before creating the visuals, let's select a suitable theme for this visualization. For that, let's click on view, expand the themes, and I'm going to choose a darker theme. To create a field parameter slicer, let's click on the modeling tab. Here you can see the button new parameter. Let's click on this and select the option fields. In this dialog box, what will your variable adjust? We have two options, numeric range and fields. We have to select fields. Let's name the slicer suitably. I'm going to name it as parameter underscore fields. We can add fields from the table here. Let's expand the table and we can see all the fields that are available. We can select the fields from here and drag them over to this window. First, I'm going to select the country. Let's drag it over here. Then under the date, we can see date hierarchy and let's drag and drop year and month. Then product, segment, and at the bottom, you can see add slicer to this page, which is checked by default. In case it is not checked, you have to check this so that a slicer gets created based on selection of fields. In case you want to reorder the fields, you can drag and place them wherever you want. Let's click on the create button. You can see that a parameter slicer has been created. In the right pane, you can see that a new table has been created, which is named as parameter fields. It contains a single column parameter fields. Let's click on the data tab. You can see the parameter fields table. Let's format this slicer. After selecting the slicer, let's click on the Format button. Under the Visual tab, you can see Slicer Settings, Slicer Header and Values. Let's turn off the Slicer Header so that the parameter fields disappears. Let's expand the Slicer Settings. At the moment, the orientation is vertical. Let's select this and change it to Horizontal. We can resize this. We can change the background color of the slicer as well as the font color. Let's expand values, change the font type, font size, background color, and the font color. Now our slicer is ready. Let's create two visuals. The first visual that I'm going to create is a clustered bar chart. Let's click on this, resize this. Under the y-axis, let's drag and drop the newly created parameter fields. Under the x-axis, let's drag and drop sales. We can edit this by double clicking and change it to sales. We can format this visual by clicking on the format button. Let's turn the data labels on, expand this and under the options, let's choose inside end. The font and font size can be changed and the font color can also be changed. Let's change the Y axis values and X axis values. So the first visual is ready. Now let's create a line chart. Under the X axis, let's drag and drop parameter fields and under the y axis drag and drop sales under the secondary y axis let's drag and drop profit we can edit these fields by double clicking so we have both our charts and the 
field parameter slicer ready. At the moment, you can see sales by country in this chart and sales and profit by country here. Let's click on product. Now we have the product along the y axis here, sales along the x axis, and similarly, we can see the product along the x axis. If I click on year, you can see the years 2013 and 14, 2013 and 14. If I click on month, you can see the charts change accordingly. Similarly, if I click on segment, you can see the charts changing accordingly. Let's select year, press control and select month. Now we can see both are selected. If I click on this button, which is expand all down one level in the hierarchy, you can see the sales by year and month. Similarly, if I click on this button, you can see sales and profit by year and month. If you want to see the markers, you can go to format your visual, turn the markers on, and you can format the markers as well. So we can see how easily we can create a field parameter slicer in Power BI Desktop, which would be extremely useful for making presentations during performance review meetings. Before creating the field parameter slicer, it would be a good idea to ensure that this feature is enabled in Power BI Desktop. For that, go to File, click on Options and Settings, click on Options, click on Preview Features, and here you can see the option Field Parameters. Please ensure that it is checked. In the November 2022 version of Power BI, this is automatically selected. However, it would be a good idea to ensure that it is selected. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel. And while subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon so that you shall get notifications as soon as we upload new content in our channel. Please visit our website paddycosmos.com. We thank you very much for your continued patronage and support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.